This is one thing I like about every Jump Just Level Part 1. I think Stone Madness introduces the player to the game perfectly. The first half of Stone Madness teaches basic jumps and platforming, and the second half of the level is a skill test from everything you've done before. Same thing as Stone Madness, I think back, which like introduces the jump pad perfectly. The first jump is impossible to do without the jump pad, which makes you hit it, and then later on it tricks you into not hitting it. Same exact thing with Polar Girls, I think it introduces the jump pad perfectly as well. I guess these introductory levels are really good at introducing things. Again, it's another gap that you can't pass by jumping, so you're forced to hit it, and then yet again tricks you into not hitting it. In dry out, same thing, just... <laughs> This is one thing I like about every jump just level part 2. I think base after base is really underrated. There are objective flaws about it, but I find it really fun to play and often find myself revisiting it every now and then. Can't like I have to say, I quite like how the gameplay is structured. In the beginning, you have a bunch of orb tricks, and then as the level goes on, it gets into more technical tricks instead of just orb tricks. Despite every part having the same structure, I think this level is actually really fun. Just like base after base, I think this one's really fun just to play through randomly. Considering the fact that this level was literally made in 2013, I think the decoration for this level looks really nice. All the structure is very unique and it's very recognizable. Unlike Polar guys which you could compare to any other 1.0 level from the time. See you next episode. <laughs> this is one thing I like about every jump just level part 3. We like the song in cycles. Okay, you can turn it down now. I said you can turn it down! The whole second half of x is really fun, especially this cube section right here. It may be annoying when you're beating it, but once you've mastered this last cube section, Clutch Funk is actually really fun to play. And finally, in theory of everything, I like this gimmick where you have to choose the right path and you get the wrong one, you die. That was all of for today's episode! <laughs> This is one thing I like about every jump just level part 4. I think Electro Man Adventure is really fun, I think the song is really good, and I think the decoration is very good for the time. Over an outstanding 1.6 level. The best thing about Club Step is... Club Step Monsters! In my opinion, I think Electro Dynamics is the best wrapped up level. I love how the gameplay flows, the song, and the decoration, as well as all the new features that are added to the game. I think Hex Gone Force introduced the dual game mode perfectly. It's the right difficulty for the progression of the game. All the duels are very satisfying, even after getting good at the game. One last thing, Ah. This is one thing I like about every jump just level part 5. I love how goofy blast processing is. All of these faces in the level, the decoration, and the song make the level seem way less serious than the other levels. After you beat through everything too, in my opinion, it's probably the most fun demon level. It definitely is the most unique, although it does have the most annoying parts. In my opinion, Geometrical Dominate is some of the best coins out of all the levels. The places they're in are very well made, and they always feel really satisfying to get. My favourite thing about Deadlock definitely has to be the song. I don't know what it is about, it's just really good in my opinion. This is one thing I like about every jump just level part 6. My favourite thing about Finger Dash is the intensity of the level. The beginning is slow and easy, and the ending is fairly hard and intense. In my opinion, this is easily the most fun robbed up level. You feel so cool while playing it despite it being really easy, and all the effects and features just add the extra level on top of it. I love the theme and decoration of the tower. That's why we're not liking the gameplay too much, I actually really like how the decoration was made. I also think it was really good at introducing platformer coins. Again, I love how the coins are placed in this level, but I also love watching the final boss fight. I'm playing it, not so much, but I like watching it. This is one thing I like about every jump just level final part. My favorite thing about the cellar is the second half of the level. I like the decoration in it and the gameplay is really nice. The coins are also really good. And finally, for the secret hollow, I like the music and the boss fight part. I don't like the boss fight gameplay, but I like the song. That was the final part of the series. Hope you enjoyed them. Bye!